Many of you have been asking me to do an example of magnetic declination when you have different directions. So in this case, I have the mean magnetic declination um, for this example, which is 30 degrees, 20 minutes west of true north and the mean annual change, which is two minutes east was east what so if you can check here i have two different directions i have west for my mean magnetic declination and for my mean annual change i have two minute uh, east what welcome to another video so the question um says or oh, my example one asked me to calculate the magnetic declination for the year 2007 so this is very simple you follow the same step um, as calculating uh, as when you calculate the magnetic declination for when you have the same direction so the first step is you must find your different difference in years difference in years so they said for the year 2007 so i'm gonna say 2007 and my date of the map is 1998 minus um 1998 and my answer for this will be um nine nine Yes. So the second step is to calculate the total annual change. I have the mean annual change of two minutes eastwards. So my total annual change, my total annual change would be my nine years multiplied by my mean annual change, which is two minutes eastwards. So my total annual change in answer will be 18, 18 minutes east what? So now that I have calculated my total uh, annual change, I'll have to calculate my total magnetic declination. So I have my mean magnetic declination is 30 degrees, uh, 20 minutes west of true north. So my total my total um, MD, which is magnetic declination, will be 30 degrees, 20 minutes west, minus, because I have different directions, I have to minus um, the two. So I'm going to say 20, uh, 30 degrees, 20 minutes west, minus my total annual change which is uh, 8 in uh, minutes east watts so my total annual change will be because minutes must minus minutes 30 will drop as is so 30 degrees will be this will be 30 degrees 20 minutes minus 18 minutes this will give me 2 minutes and I take the direction of the east so this will be 30 degrees 2 minutes eastward or east of true north let's look at this uh, the second example so in my example 2 I still use the same map information that I was using in the first example so but the question is different now and you'll understand why this question has to be different um, it says they calculate the magnetic declination of the current year so you know if you are asked to calculate the magnetic declination for the current year you, ne you need to use the year that you are in so in this case we'll use 2024 so we're going to follow the same steps that we did in our first example. So I would love to use um, 
um, to save time, I'll have to use abbreviations. So I'll say D for difference in years, right? So this will be um, 2024, 2024 minus 1998. So if I punch this in my calculator, 2024 minus 1998 equals to nine, uh, 26 years. And then my second step is my annual change. I'll just say total annual change, which is TA is equals to, or let's say TAC, TAC, total annual change. So for a total annual change, you know, we're gonna say 26, which is our years, times two, which is the, so we talk, we, we, we're timing our, annual change mean annual change and uh total or rather difference in years that we got so 26 times um 26 times 2 and this will give us this will give us 52 remember this is in um minutes of east and then the last step is to calculate um, total magnetic declination. So I'll just say TMD. So this is equals to my mean magnetic declination, which is 30 degrees, 20 minutes west of true north. But I have different directions so i'm gonna minus so i'm gonna say 30 degrees 20 minutes west of true north minus my total annual change which is 50 52 minutes um east but now you have a problem because um minutes must minus minutes and you cannot minus 20 degrees 252 as it will give you a negative number but we know from our rules that one degree equals to 60 minutes right so we're gonna borrow one degrees from our 30 so when we do that we say 30 minus 1 which is equals to 20 nine degrees remember one degree equals to 60 minutes so that 60 minutes that we just borrowed from here we're going to add it into here so we're going to say 30 or rather 60 plus 20 this will give us 80 minutes of west minus 52 east so now we are able to minus the 2 because 80 can minus 52 and we won't have a negative number. So we, we just drop this. We say 29 degrees. 80 minus 52 will, uh, will give us um, 28. So this will be 28 minutes. Remember, we t always take the direction of the east because we're determining the magnetic declination for east. So this will be... Uh, 29 degrees 28 minutes east uh, of true north and that's how you calculate magnetic declination when you have different directions for your mean magnetic declination and your mean annual change being eastwards whereas the mean magnetic declination is um 20, 30 degrees 20 minutes west whereas your annual change is two minutes eastwards please don't forget to like share and put your comments also share with your fellow classmates and friends until the next one